Hey, what's up guys? Doing a little production work here on these angle iron brackets that I'm making that have uh, a notch out of each corner uh, on a 20 inch piece. And then I gotta put a hole in each one. And these are gonna be brackets for the filter system on uh, my paint booth I'm working on for, for you guys that watch the channel on a regular basis. But the purpose of this video is I've got 24 of these and I thought, you know, what, what's the fastest way to get holes in this? Would it be on the milling machine, you know, with a drill bit? Would it be, uh, you know, hand drilling it, which is obviously not going to be very fast? Or would it be on the hydraulic uh, punch station? So we're going to set up a little, we're going to do half of them uh, drilling it and half of them punching it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're going to set up over here on the little hydraulic punch station. And I've got uh, half of the, the angle iron pieces over here. We're going to punch half of them in. And uh, as you guys know uh, that watch the channel, we've got a built-in fence here, and this is adjustable back and forth. Sometimes that works out good to use, depending on you know if I've got long pieces or whatever, um, and I can use my uh, table setup for my bandsaw. You know, and that's why I built it at the height that it is. But I've also just clamped in a temporary piece because we're going to run these in from uh, from this angle here, pop them in, flip it over. And, uh, and punch the holes in it that way. So I'm gonna put the timer up on the screen and I'm gonna knock these out. I'm gonna speed the video up so you don't have to sit here and watch me uh, do all this, but the timer will be sped up as, as well and we'll get the real time captured at the end. So here we go. <clears throat> okay, so just a quick summary on those. Um, I, I'm guessing it's two minutes and something. I'll, I'll have it on the screen. Um, but I ran into a couple of issues where I had uh, um, I'd not notched out the end, so I couldn't really. Uh, I'm, I won't be able to count these in the in the mix. So I'll um, subtract out these and the time that I spent jacking with it. But we did complete uh, two, four six, seven. So we got seven completed, two, four, six, seven. And when we do the drilling over here, we'll do, do seven of them as well uh, so we can get an exact comparison. Now I already had uh, the jig set up over here, so I don't count that in the time. And then on the drilling part, I'm already set up as well. And I'll take you guys over to show you that. And uh, just to make it, you know, quicker and easier, I'm using a block of wood to, to drill through. And uh, so we'll get going here on this in just a second.
All right, so you saw there that the uh, the hole punch definitely is a little quicker. Uh, I was just going to point out that um, I used a center drill on the on the milling machine, and the reason I did that is these are going to go uh, into wood, and I'm using these little short wood screws. So the center drill, you know, will drill a, a straight hole, not wonder, and it also puts a countersink in there, sort of built in, so our wood screw will sit, uh, you know, sit in there flush. Now that's preferable but uh, the the bad thing about the hole punch is you're kind of limited on what size you know dies you have and you know I have a handful of dies and sometimes you might have the right size sometimes you might not but as it turned out the uh, the die is quite a bit bigger than the the screw itself but it's up there pretty close to where the head is so it doesn't quite get countersunk in there but it sinks in there pretty nicely where it's you know a fairly decent looking setup so if you're interested in that hole punch setup I've got a series of videos and I also sell the plans on my website it's a kit that I put together I use it here in the shop often so uh, check the link in the description to a playlist with more videos on it and check the link also to my website if you want to buy the plans they're five bucks you'll get uh, a detailed build video that's uh, hidden and then you'll also get a shopping list of all the parts that you need to buy and a cut list of, you know, links of materials and that kind of thing. So uh, five bucks for that. Go check it out. See you.